Hey beautiful people of the internet, how are you guys doing today? I hope everyone is doing great. Welcome to Budget Bills, where we use zero form and achieve maximum efficiency. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Rhino Prime. But before I continue with the video, please, spot and kick the subscribe button for more Warframe videos. Let's go to the simulacrum where we can take a closer look at this Warframe. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the simulacrum where I do all my tests so far. Now, let's go over ab Rhino's abilities first. Alright, so his first ability known as number one, this is called Rhino Charge. And essentially all the only purpose of this ability is to go from point A to point B efficiently. Enemies that get in your way will be procced with a blast proc. So in other words, they'll ragdoll a lot. But, and also the more you press one, if you can press one within that small window, your speed and range will increase. Next up we have is number two. This is known as Iron Skin. And as you guys can see, the top right there, it tells me how much hit points my Iron Skin has. This is the only defensive ability Rhino has to protect himself. Very useful, trust me. You're immune to everything. Status procs, direct damage, uh, ragdoll effects, anything. So long as you have this thing up. And finally we have his number three, which is Roar. Basically what this does is that allies that are within your range will receive a 50% damage buff, multiplicative of 50% damage increase. Okay? Now this depends on how much power strength you have. So in other words, the more power strength you have, the more damage they'll receive. And finally we have his number four. This is known as Rhino Stomp. The only purpose of this ability is to get yourself to safety and it's also good for crowd control. Right, now that we've gotten the abilities out the way, let's go over the builds. Okay, so I've got two builds for you. I've got you guys an Iron Skin build, now Zero Former, and finally I've got yourself, you guys a Roar. Let's start off with the main one, Iron Skin. This is to protect yourself in those missions. Okay, now at the top here, I know I said that uh, this is a budget build, it still is, but this one former doesn't make, makes no difference. Maybe a small difference, but not a major difference. And the only thing I changed was this. Previously, it was a Y polarity, it being this symbol right here, the Madurai, and I had steel fiber. So for you guys, make sure to just leave steel fiber there because instead of receiving 14 additional slots, if you can get the polarities to match each other, it's gonna be 18 additional slots, makes a big difference. So this would be a rank four instead of a rank zero meaning you'll have more power strength. But let's go over the build. So we've got power drift for more ability strength, auger secrets, intensify, transient fortitude for more power strength. The more power strength you have, the more hit points your iron skin will have by default. We've got steel fiber, armored agility for more armor. More armor will add towards your iron skin hit points. We've got ourselves a streamline, that way we don't take up so much energy and get caught with our pants down. Trust me, that happens frequently, ladies and gentlemen. I would know. We've got ourselves flow for more energy max, that way we don't get caught with our pants down. And finally, we've got ourselves the iron shrapnel augment. Now, for those of you who are watching me for the first time, I went over this build with my how to do, how to get creds fast. I'll leave a, I'll suggest that video down in the, sorry, I'll suggest this video in the top right of your screen and leave a link down to that particular video, that way you guys can see what it's been used for. But let me explain to you what this augment does. Basically, it allows us to refresh our iron skin at will. So in other words, if you can see the bottom right there that your iron skin's at 2%, just press 2 again and you know it will switch it back on. So in other words, it goes on and then off, on and then off, and it's that simple. Switching this thing off will cause a puncture proc, so like it'll knock enemies or it'll do a bit of damage to them. But you know, it's not really that useful. The only use for this thing is to switch it on and off. Let me show you guys how powerful it gets. And also, while activating your number two, you'll be put into this immune state. During this immune state, Rhino will absorb all damage cu coming towards him for a certain amount of time. Then he'll take that damage and add it to your to his own iron skin. So in other words, you can probably have between 10 to 20,000 hit points of armor on. So let's give you guys an example. So let's go with, let's not go with 20 heavy gunners. Let's go with like 10.
Okay, wait. 10. Why 10? Just so that, you know, I could get the, be the full benefits. That way I can activate one time. They shoot me. I activate it. Okay, now watch. Come on, guys. Shoot me. And look at that. 14k iron skin. See? 18k. Amazing, right? Making a lot more tanky. And I mean, look at this. I can survive against level 145s. What Warframe do you know that's not Hildren or somebody else that can survive this long? I mean, come on. Against level up against these guys. Okay. But I mean, come on, guys. Level 10 level 145 bombards, sorry, heavy gunners firing at you at once. That doesn't, re that doesn't really happen in the missions themselves. That's just one of those simulacrum type of things. Now, it's... Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's war. Now, we've got... I've got corrosive projection here because, you know, I had future plans of leveling this frame up, but, you know, it's such a drag. Like, you'd need someone to, like... Like, you need someone to bring a sarin just to, like, kill everything and you just leech off of those XP. But anyways, for this build, steel project... Now, was it? Steel charge is very good for this. 18 slots, who's gonna say no to 18 slots? Big difference. We've got vitality to keep ourselves safe. We've got ourselves flow for more energy max. We've got ourselves prime continuity for more duration. We've got blind rage, auger secrets, and transient fortune for even more ability strength. And finally, fleeting expertise. That way we don't get caught with our pants down. Now, Assuming that you guys have added former, for this last slot, I recommend you guys add Iron Shrapnel because when you're playing as Rhino, it doesn't matter if it's a war build or whatever, you're always having the ability to replenish your Iron Skin at will is always a plus side, even for me. Up top here, add Power Drift. What Power Drift will do, it's even more power strength. So the more power strength you have, the more damage, the, the higher your damage multiplicable buff is. And here's where there's 15% more, more ability strength pushing, would probably push us to around the 300, maybe the 300% range of power strength. Now let me show you what this will do. Okay, so let's wait for him to do the ground punch and watch. Oh, the guy got in the way. Oh well. As you guys can see, three bursting these guys with the Tiburon. Believe that's all of them, and yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes today's videos. I'm gonna quickly go over this, these two builds for you. All right, starting off with Roar, Steel Charge, Power Drift, Iron Shrapnel, Vitality for more health, Flow for more energy max, Transient Fortitude, Auger Secrets, Blind Ridge for more power strength. Prime continuity for more duration, that way it has it lasts at all. Fleeting expertise for more efficiency, that way you guys don't get caught with your pants down. Next up we have Iron Skin. Once again, same augment, so same aura, steel charge, power drift, steel fiber for more armor, power drift for more and what happened there? Power drift for more ability strength, August Seekers for even more strength, intensify for even more ability strength. Transient Fortitude for more power strength, Iron Shrapnel to replenish our Iron Skin at will, Prime Flow or Normal Flow for more energy max, Streamline for more efficiency, and finally Armor Digility for more armor. And remember, the more armor you guys have, the more hit points you'll have towards your Iron Skin. Same goes with power strength as well. More power strength, more armor. But anyways, I hope everyone was watching. Oh, and finally, 
Arcane's wise, Guardian and Energize. Energize for more energy, of course, who doesn't want more energy? And Guardian for more armor, because remember, the more armor we have, the higher our Iron Skin. Same goes for Roar. You're still going to use Iron Skin with Roar, whether you like it or not. It's going to keep you alive. Energize and Guardian. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for today's video. I really hope this helped. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, spot and click the subscribe button for more Warframe videos. I'm going to make like a banana and split.